time for your Daily Joe now, everybody. Time for fun stuff we find uh, shareworthy on the internet this morning. We're going to start off with this one today. A woman has created a business. She's a botanical artist. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember we showed you the dress that was we dipped that was dipped in the sea over and over? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And formed all these crystals. Yeah. Well, she does something kind of similar with flowers. Oh. Her website is called Botanique. It's been around for three years. And wow. she creates these uh, images Great. with crystals that she combines with uh, flowers that have sort of begun the decaying process to create these beautiful works of art. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, she wow. said it's uh, they're called stabilized crystals. Combined with the, the breakdown of the planet as it begins to decay, she says evokes the relationship that exists when nature uh, uh, is entangled with a parasite and a host. <laughs> she said, yeah. So Science! Science! <laughs> right. But it is beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. uh, now, they're also for sale. She said there was more information on her website, so I went there, where they're listed. Each of these is about $2,000. Damn! Right? So I'm yes. curious, do the crystals stay like once the plant completely decomposes? Yeah, I didn't, there wasn't any other information about it. But it huh. looks like because they're under glass and so they're almost preserved in a way oh. where the crystals would stay formed on the glass, uh, on the uh, flower. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, kind of interesting stuff. I think I like the pictures better than the actual yeah. images themselves. Plus, those are free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, probably almost everybody's been on a Southwest Airlines flight where the flight attendants do their funny pre-flight uh, announcements. Well, one guy is taking it to new heights. Take a look at this. Really quiet. We have reached your destination. Uh, yeah. What's up, Ducks? This is Bucks Bunny here, and on behalf of this flight crew and Southwest Airlines, welcome to Chicago, the windy city. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened, seatbacks, and tray tables in the full upright and locked position, <laughs> and make sure all your carrying items are stowed where they are. When the captain joins off the fastened seatbelt sign, please be careful when opening up the overhead bins. <laughs> he goes on for a while, so after that for the landing. So he goes through the whole repertoire of uh, Looney Tunes voices in his flight announcement. He does Peppy Le Pew, <laughs> El 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 Elmer Fudd. Uh, yeah, very fun. So he may have been a voiceover artist before. Maybe he's trying to uh, get that now. But yeah, pretty kind of a you know uh, who fun he reminds me of? thing. That yeah. kind of looks like um, Dave Bender. <laughs> he does Dave <laughs> Bender. Yes, he does. Maybe we suggest that to Dave. Kick up his, kick up his evening mood. All right, one more now. We ever have a teacher say, okay, if if everybody does this, this awesome thing will happen yes. in the whole class. All right, well, a, a professor, university professor, issued a challenge to his students. He said that if one student in the upper balcony could throw a paper ball into a bin down below, the whole class would get 100% on the quiz. Yeah. Guess what? First guy steps up, nails it. Take a look. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Teacher makes the bit every semester and makes somebody from the top row do it, but no one's ever done it before. And this guy did it. So. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's fun. There's your Daily Joe. I love, I love awesome. it on this Monday. Good job. All right. Thanks so much.